A dynamic group of restaurants and food startups is coming together in a unique way in the district. They're bringing bold flavors to K Street. Uh huh, and keeping the bottom line low in a way that you may not expect. News Force Tommy McFly is touring the square and he's taste testing along the way in the scene. The Square Food Hall here on K Street and Northwest has delicious options from a diverse set of culinary professionals. Put it down, it's not yours, camera guy. The food is fantastic, but there's something going on downstairs that's extra interesting. Before we go underground, let's take a tasty walk around. Taqueria Sochi, Hamon Hamon. We've got John Mooney with Yao Cho, who's an industry veteran. We've got um, Flora done by Pluma Bakery, who's absolutely phenomenal and just made the long list for the James Beard Foundation. Soft serve, churros. Are you hungry yet? Superb sushi. Ochi from Nagasawa. I mean, really, you can't you can't beat that. It's a sprawling space reimagined. I think this was E-Trade over here. Um, I think they had a radio shack over here at one point. Um, and then there was a barber right here at one time and a shoe shine guy. Well, there you go. Traditionally in a food hall, you open a sushi spot, you open a coffee shop, you open a taqueria, and it's basically like, best of luck. Is that how it works? So most of the most of the time, it's a landlord doing it, and they just kind of lease it out, and they try and make the place as, as comfortable as possible to operate. We've come in and said, hey, why don't we open this more like a hotel? We, being Richie and his business partner, Ruben, both alums at the Jose Andres Restaurant Group, and helped create Union Market's culinary offerings. Now, doing things their way. This is the commissary. This is, this is where we support everybody. This is the behind the scenes. I've got a chef down here who's, who's formerly a one-star Michelin chef de cuisine. So all the restaurants upstairs say, I need flour, I need eggs, I need liquor, I need this, and exactly. you handle all the ordering? Exactly. All the butchery, all the baking, all the prep for everybody and sends it up. Bottom line for these small businesses, how much are you saving them? A smaller vendor in a food hall makes roughly a million dollars a year. We're projecting it's going to save about three to four percent to the bottom line, which which is something in, in the small margins in restaurants. If you didn't bring me down here and tell me this and show us this, do you think the average customer upstairs would know that this was happening? No, it's 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 not to be meant to be known. It's it's supposed to be meant to be known how easy it is for them to execute upstairs. The ability to meet your friends here who have a lot of different tastes. The guy that doesn't eat tacos, you can still have tacos, and that guy can go have a fried chicken sandwich. You know what you call a friend who doesn't like tacos? Not a friend. Not your friend. Not your friend. I'll be here all week. Uh. With the scene, Tommy McFly, News 4.